Hello everyone. Welcome back to Madlia's new video. As we discussed earlier, in this video we are going to create a NAND gate perceptron from scratch. In previous video, that is this video, we have created a NAND gate perceptron with the help of AND gate and NOT gate. What does it even mean? We can represent a NAND gate as a combination of AND gate and NOT gate. And that same approach we applied in the previous video to achieve a NAND gate perceptron. So for that, we have taken an AND gate perceptron and NOT gate perceptron. We have passed the input to the AND gate perceptron and the output of AND gate perceptron to the NOT gate perceptron, due to which the input of NOT gate perceptron is inverted and we successfully able to achieve a NAND gate perceptron and here is its truth table. A and B represent input values and A is a AND gate output and Y is a NAND gate output. We have discussed all these things in our previous video. If you are interested then you can go and check this video. I have also covered how AND gate perceptron is built and NOT gate perceptron is built. You can also check that both video too. I'm going to give you these links in our description box. So let's take quick recap for this AND gate and NOT gate for the NAND gate perceptron. We have imported AND gate and NOT gate from our AND gate perceptron file and NOT gate perceptron file. And using this both two, we have achieved our NOT gate perceptron. So now without further ado, let's move towards our today's video that is a NAND gate perceptron from scratch with the activation function and summation function. Let's start with our NAND gate perceptron. So A and B are input as we already know. W0 and W1 are respective weights. This is the summation function and this is the activation function. Let's check a truth table for NAND gate. A, B are input and Y is output of a NAND gate. For 0, 0, input, NAND gate gives output as a 1. For 0, 1, it is 1. For 1, 0, it is again 1. And for 1, 1, it is 0. So now we have to decide such a weights and threshold value so that we will achieve this our NAND gate perception. So let's first start with our weights. Let's keep weights as 0 0.5, that is a W0 and W1 also 0 0.5. These weights are already calculated weight so that you can understand. The process for activation or error control we, have, we are going to see in our coding part. So let's decide a threshold value that is t is equal to 1. And due to which we have to decide the condition such that we will get output as a 1. So let's make a quick calculations. For the first input 0 comma 0 let's calculate a summation function 0 into 0 0.5 is 0 plus 0 into 0 0.5 is 0 but the threshold value is 1 so we need to decide a such condition that we will get our output is 1 let's take a break and pause the video and think what must be the condition for the activation function such that our output is 1 if you got it right then let's move forward. Our condition must be like that if threshold value or the activation value is less than 1 then our output is 1 else our output is 0. Let's check whether it is work for all the conditions or not. For the first condition our summation function is 0 so 0 is less than 1 due to which our output is 1. For our second input 0 comma 1 0 0.5 into 0 that is 0 plus 1 into 0 0.5 is 0 0.5 which is again less than 1 so our output is 1 which is also correct for our third input 1 comma 0 1 into 0 0.5 is 0 0.5 plus 0 into 0 0.5 is 0 that is the all summation value is 0 0.5 which is again less than 1 so our output become 1 and the important input is last test case 1 comma 1 so 1 into 0 0.5 is 1 0 0 0.5 and 1 into 0 0.5 is 0 0.5 and summation of all this both two is 1 
so one is not less than one due to which it goes to the else test else part and it is going to give us a output as zero as we got our weights then what is the role of this error function that is a weight is equal to if weight is not working correctly then we update our weight as weight is equal to previous weight plus learning rate into actual output minus predicted output into input but for nand gate perceptron there is a error for this error equation so we have to figure it out and we are going to do this in our coding part what is wrong in this equation and why we need to change this equation so now let's move towards coding part so let's begin with our coding part here is the input and here is the output for our nand gate and we are going to develop a nand gate using perceptron so let's start with our first activation function to create an activation function let's first take a look on our activation function i have just changed here the condition for the better understanding of a coding so o represents the output that is the summation value and if the summation value is less than t that is our threshold value then our output must be 1 in any other case it is a else part our output must be 0 so now let's move towards our coding part for the activation function we first need to create a function name with activation which is going to require a two parameter that is a output and threshold as just we seen o represents the output and capital t for the threshold i am taking here a dynamic value so that we can directly manipulate it from our perceptron now let's create a if condition if output is less than the threshold value then we are going to return as a 1 and in any other case we are going to return a 0 so this is for the activation function now we are going to move towards a summation function let's create a perceptron for our nand gate for that i am going to create a perceptron name function which is going to take a input or parameter as a nand input but for the perceptron for the training purpose we must require actual inputs and outputs that is this two table i am going to create a two variable name as a comma b that is a b and the inputs are just like we seen earlier so let's take y as a actual output and output for this you can check now 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 and for the nand gate 1 comma 1 is 0 a weights for our perceptron let's take it or keep weight as 0.5 0.5 next we required a threshold value we required a learning rate due to which it can update its weight if there is any error so let's keep learning rate as 0.3 this is all the prerequisites for our perceptron part for the prediction we first required a summation and the formula of summation is first nand input our into our first weight plus our second nand input our second weight first nand input into weight each second nand input into weight it is going to give a summation part now we got our summation part now we have to pass this to the activation function and take the output so for that we are going to return a output from the activation function and we are going to pass a two parameter that is a summation created from here and threshold value which we are going to set it here now we have to train this perceptron so for the training purpose we have created a similar formula that is a summation first input into first weight plus second into second weight that is it is come from this input and this is the actual output and we are going to compare the predicted output with our actual output via a function and to understand better we are going to print some statement so that we can figure it out from where the code is running so before started a training we are going to print as nand perceptron training it started and after that we are going to create a i is equal to 0 variable run a for or while loop here and after that we have to pass the summation and threshold values to get our predicted output let's now print this out first we are going to print a input whichever is passing from a and b now we are going to 
print a weights whatever weight on whatever on weight which weight we are working and after that we are going to print a summation value and the threshold value which is going to give a brief idea whether a predicted and actual output is correct or not so this is all about our perceptron without any error function because we already figure out the actual weights so why not let's test and run this program so for that i am going to take a nine input as 0 comma 1 and after that i am going to print it that is a nine get output for this current input 0 comma 1 is perceptron nine input so now it is going to call the perceptron function here and from here it is going to calculate all the summation part call the activation function and return a appropriate output so let's run this program quickly so now you can see that it is a running a program infinitely let's figure out what the problem is i'm going to press a control c for that it is going to interrupt okay so now you can check that our summation value is 0.0, .0 but the threshold value is 1 and it is not returning an appropriate output i hope you guys are understand what the problem is we started a while loop but we never decrement it so that it can terminate a uh, plus one because we are incrementing it so now let's delete this and let's run the program again now you can see that it is going to give us a output the first input is here 0 comma 0 it is the summation function is 0 and threshold is 1 so it is correctly predicted the output with the actual output for the second test case also same and for the te third test case also same and our NAND gate output for 0 comma 1 is 1 it is correct but what if I change this value that is weight 1.5 that because while creating a perceptron we don't have any knowledge about what weight must be there we have calculated and put the weight intentionally but now we don't know the weight so let's test what happen if we introduce any error so it is going to give me some so you can see that for 1 comma 1 the threshold is 2 and here predict uh, threshold is 1 actual output is 0 and 0 but now you can check that for the input c 1 comma 0 our actual output is 1 but the predicted output is 0 so we must introduce a error function that is we have discussed here you can see that if it is not going to give a proper output then we must return an error and the weight must be automatically updated so now our part is to create an error function our error function must lie here because before moving towards the next test case it must check that the predicted output and actual output are exactly the same if it is not then we must have to generate a such error function which can automatically update the weights let's start with our error function we have to turn this only if our uh, predicted output is not matching with the actual output then only error function is going to run so let's write the same code with this formula first we have to update our w0 weight that is a weight 1 related to a input so for that we have to plus learning rate into actual weight minus a predicted weight into our current input so this is the formula to update a any specific weight let's take a quick recap again the weight is equal to that is updated weight is equal to previous weight plus whatever the learning rate is into actual output minus predicted output into our input and similarly we are going to update a next weight to i minus one because if at any point if the input fails that is a suppose here the actual output is one and predicted output is zero and if we don't uh, means reset the all the inputs then it is going to continue from here and we seen this problem earlier in our and get perceptron so we are not going to make this mistake again now let's apply some print statement so that we can easily understand what is happening here 
ok now let's run the program and check what happens let's clear the terminal and run the program ok so there is much there is a problem because it is not stopping I'm going to control C to kill the program now let's move to some upward and let's check what is happening so you can see that the weight uh, it is all happening for the 0 comma 1 it is the actual and predicted output is correct but for the test case 1 comma 0 the actual output is 1 but predicted output is 0 and it is rapidly or drastically increasing the weights then what is the problem so you can check here that the problem is that the predicted output is 0 but the actual output is 1 and if you check here that actual output minus predicted output due to which it is always going to add the learning rate and the adapting the weights with the help of this addition operation so due to which it is just increasing the weights drastically if you check previously 236 and before that 234 and as we move further or forward it is increasing the weights so the problem is in our updatation logic so for that i have find a solution you can just reverse it that is subtract a subtract a predicted weight from actual weight so big why this is because our actual output is 1 and predicted output is 0 if we go with this logic then 1 minus 0 is always 0 due to which it is not never going to update so what we have to do that 0 minus 1 it is a minus 1 so it is going to subtract the value let's check whether its logic is work or not okay i'm going to save the program delete the terminal and rerun the program so now you can see that we got our output very quickly that is for 0 comma 0 out actual and predicted is correct weights are 1.5 and 0 0.5 still actual output and predicted output still correct but for the third input it is 1 comma 0 actual uh, weights are 1.5 and 0 0.5 summation is 1.5 which is greater than threshold due to which our activation function return the value 0 so that predicted output is 0 and actual output is 1 now this is the false test case because perceptron fails here so it is going to update the weights and now updated weights are 1.2 because our learning rate is 0 0.3 if you see here our learning rate is 0 0.3 so it subtract 1.5 0 0.3 from 1.5 and it update the weight but still it is going to fail so it is again going to update its weights and the final updated weights are 0 0.89999 recurring so now it is going to pass all the test case because our up now updated weights are perfect and finally we get our NAND gate output for 0 comma 1 is 1 let's lastly check again let's change NAND gate input as 1 comma 1 save the program and rerun the program so now you can see that NAND gate output is 0 so this is the NAND gate perception you can change the logic and you can do whatever you want check the play with it and test it how it is going to work and i hope you understand this logic why we have changed this because if we put just like this it is going to always increase the weight never decrease the weight due to which we have to uh, adapt our knowledge or change something so that our perceptron is going to work and currently we are working on just a perceptron which have just means one summation function in next video we are going to cover a nor gate perceptron and after that we are going to move forward for the special purpose gates that perceptrons if you haven't subscribed until channel then consider yourself as a subscribe our current target is 20 subscriber hope you will achieve it quickly so that's it for the today's video uh, if you want any before knowledge that is a NAND, uh, AND gate and uh, here is a AND gate perceptron quick recap then OR gate NOT gate and the NAND gate which is made with the help of AND gate and NOT, not gate so you can check that out also 
एंड वी विल मीट इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो